Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question. And the question is, do you recommend default settings auto growth, uh, auto growth default setting in a SQL Server database? And if not, why? Well, first of all, I don't recommend auto growth uh, default setting in uh, SQL Server. And I'm going to show you uh, real quick. Uh, but, but before we go into auto growth, I'm going to just quickly uh, cover uh, what auto growth does. Basically, what happens is when you create a database and you assign um, storage to that database and that's the initial size of the uh, of the database so any times uh, when sql server start receiving the data when it start filling up whatever the initial size that you have is auto growth if auto growth is enabled what's going to happen is as soon as let's say that you uh, initial size was 200 mb so it, sql server is going to do when database has reached almost to 200 MB it's going to uh, allocate it's going to auto grow to next uh, uh, um, 200 MB or whatever the setting that you have done in uh, auto growth if you have done in percentage uh, that okay 10 percent of 200 MB should grow the next time it's going to do in percentage if you have done like uh, every time it should grow like 200 MB more then or uh, 300 MB is going to grow uh, 200 or 300 MB one thing that uh, there is an issue with that that uh, auto growth happens behind the scene most of the time you don't really pay attention to uh, uh, what SQL Server engine is doing behind the scene but if uh, auto growth is enabled and auto growth event is happening what happen is that a SQL Server stops all the operation on that particular database uh, and let it first complete the auto growth event and then come back and resume all its processes on that particular database so it impacts really performance make sure that uh, you do not uh, you, you you do not leave um, your auto growth on a default setting um, but uh, rather size the database um, initially you could you might be able to just uh, leave it default setting and monitor just for the analysis purposes but in production i wouldn't recommend you leaving it on um, default setting and i'm going to show you right here what's uh, a, a couple issues that uh, with default settings let's say this is my sql server management studio and this is my uh, um, database and i'm going to go and show you the auto growth properties so we're going to click on auto growth and maximum size here Here's the auto growth and auto growth on this database is enabled. If you have, if you wanted uh, auto growth enabled, make sure that uh, your uh, uh, file growth up here is um, enough. It's not so frequent. You don't want to put it one MB every time one MB gets filled. SQL Server ne next time auto growth event will happen. You want to prevent auto growth uh, um, event happening from too much because it's a performance hit um, a SQL Server uh, will really degrade its prom performance if you have auto growth somewhere enabled on just uh, maybe 2 MB or 3 MB um, but again it goes back to your uh, um, uh, sizing of your database analysis of um, uh, of uh, your database size the other thing that up here is uh, if you can look at it is unlimited I don't want really unlimited because let's say that there are other database files data files sharing that particular data uh, the uh, particular drive then if this data database goes haywire a lot of data happens and uh, it fills up the space all the operation on other databases gets screwed up so it won't and nothing will happen until you make space for other databases and they may go in suspect mode but um, I'm you know they may not but uh, you will run all the application will start getting errors so this is these are the quick things that I wanted to show you about auto growth um, I have a video about uh, uh, different experimenting different auto growth options in database if you would like to watch that that would be great but uh, if not then uh, for interview or basic concept uh, you should uh, really consider uh, setting uh, good setting of your auto growth you should not leave it at default you